name is Alan Newberry and today I'm going to talk to you about a few safety items that I like to use in the shop. So the first one is an apron. This apron right here is nice and leather. It protects my shirts from getting holes in it. If you're ever around a grinder much, you're gonna see that you get lots of holes in your shirts if you're not using an apron. I recommend this one made by Kenny Rowe. There are other people that make nice aprons as well. Um, I don't recommend the cheap Harbor Freight ones, the you know the kind of suede looking orange ones. The, the orange kind of rubs off on your clothes, so that's why I don't recommend those. But really any good quality leather apron is going to be a huge bonus even if it costs you you know a hundred dollars or so for a really really nice one then you're going to probably save that money pretty soon in the amount of shirts that you have that don't have holes in them also with the Kenny Row apron like this one right here you can have him custom make it for you to the size that you want he'll put however many pockets you want on it so it's kind of fun to be able to do something to your specifications and that's something that he can do the second item that I'd like to talk about are deer skin gloves. So these, this is a pair I've had for many years. Uh, I don't use these gloves on everything that I do, but if there is a time for using gloves, um, this is the style that I like to use. I can use these even with a hammer. With most leather gloves, they're too, too loose. These are kind of tight fitting and soft, so I can actually get a good grip on the hammer. Um, with just regular work gloves, it, it wants to slip out on me. So I don't use it a lot, but maybe if I'm going from not forging very much to forging solidly for a week, uh, or doing just, just a whole lot of something, and I want to have a glove on my hand for that, or maybe I have a blister on my finger that I'm wanting to baby, maybe I'll use a glove for that. Um, another type of glove that you probably want to use is a, is a welder's glove. Um, those are really handy for when you're holding hot stuff and it's if you have a really heavy uh, item that's soaked up a lot of heat having that welder's glove on your tong hand or if you're using a full-size steel bar and not using tongs at all those bars can get pretty hot so i like the welder's gloves those gloves you want to keep loose the glove that you have on your off hand you want to have loose so you can just throw it off just sling that glove off if it gets really hot so that's a good tip on that one and the last item that I have is the respirator. So this is uh, a device for keeping your lungs nice and healthy. I recommend using some sort of respirator. Um, I found that with my facial hair, it, you know, the, the air just kind of gets around and through the beard and still gets in. What's good about this one right here is that it kind of has a little mouthpiece here that actually goes in your mouth, which seems kind of strange, and it seems like it might be uncomfortable. But in my case, I find that having this on, it's light, it doesn't really uh, bother me at all, and I can just breathe normally through my mouth. Um, you just don't breathe through your nose. It comes with uh, little nose pinchers. Um, so you just kind of put it in between your teeth and your lips. You don't actually bite on it. And you just breathe through it like that. And so it then collects the air from behind and then has the little filters back there. So while these filters might not be as robust as some of the filters, it kind of makes up for that and the fact that it's taking the air from behind you instead of right here in the cloud of whatever you're grinding. And the real thing that makes this a good recommendation for me is that I just found that I wasn't using a regular respirator. It would just sit on the shelf, but the respirator, I find that if I'm going to grind any sort of handle material or I'm doing a bunch of grinding, I just put it on automatically because it's just easy and comfortable. So those are my recommendations. I hope that you found some value in it. If you have any questions on these items or other things, just let me know down in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.